Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Javi and today I'm going to be reacting to Love Victor season two, episode two. I just finished reacting to episode one. I'm kind of binge watching a few episodes now, but I'm really excited to keep watching because episode one was really good. It was a great uh, season two premiere. And so, yeah, I'm going to keep watching again. If you guys want to watch my full uncut reactions, I'm already ahead a few episodes over on Patreon. And you can watch my full uncut reactions over there if you guys want to support the channel and watch alongside with me. But yeah, in episode one, we were kind of exploring, obviously, well, we saw Benji and Victor's relationship and how that's going, which is going great. But we also saw kind of the dynamic that's going on between the family, especially, you know, Victor and the mom and the dad with the separation and with everything. And so it's going to be interesting to see what's going to be happening next. Obviously, there's also Mia and Andrew and that situation, which hopefully they explore more. I'm excited to keep seeing how that goes. Now, they're going to be starting school. And I believe that, you know, Victor said that he wants to be open about things and not hide it, which I love that. Also, like I said in episode one, I love that Victor really stood his ground and he wasn't backing down. You know, he told his mom, Benji's my boyfriend. And so... I'd like you to call him that. And I really love that. So excited to see what's gonna happen in episode two. You know, rambling. Let's go. Good morning. Oh my god. Are you going to school or back in time to play jazz? Uh <laughs> lose the hat. Burn the yes. hat. Look, I don't have to tell you how unkind kids in high school can be when you're different. I just want to make sure that that's something that you want. I think he does want yeah, that. It is. And he's ready. Okay. You might not be, but he is. Are you stressed about telling everyone? No, I'm good. I mean, I totally get why you were ignoring me, but um, it's really good to see you. Well, that was horrible. <laughs> no, Salazar. I, I was here for the summer and she was 200 miles away at some summer camp. Oh, more Victor, 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 Victor. Do the long distance thing over FaceTime. Camp brings out the tramp. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Shut no, up, dude. Things. Oh what my God. That? I thought we were going to be honest. We will be. Victor Salazar and Mia Brooks broke up this summer. Already uh -huh. making up rumors. Up. People are disgusting. I want to tell people, just maybe not today. Got you something. And she loves s'mores so much. <laughs> what assholes, true, honestly. Ass. Oh, that's more hard. <laughs> oh my God. Well, the principal told us that Wyatt was spreading nasty rumors about Mia. Yeah, so we understand you thought you had to stand up for her i'm just getting the rules straight so I i'm allowed to shove someone as long as it's over a girl no you No. Know why i'm so upset it's because all day i could hear your voice in my head begging me not to tell anyone that i was gay you so no i was i just told him to be careful i was just trying to protect you you know how cool kids can be the only reason why you don't want me telling anyone that i'm gay is because you don't want me to be gay Tell me that you're okay with it. Tell me that you support me. I understand why this is happening because obviously with Victor's dad, he's actually trying to make an effort to make sure that everything's okay. Whereas the mom keeps trying to make things switch back to how they were before. And, you know, there's these little like microaggressions that she's throwing over at Victor. And so that's making Victor really understand where she stands whereas the dad has tried to make things feel okay even if he's not fully you know understanding of it yet or you know accepting of it yet he's making an effort to accept it to really make victor feel that um but she hasn't she's doing the opposite and so i understand why he's kind of singling her out i would yeah um freshman oh college freshman we're lying now i like this little friendship we saw hints of it you know in season one sometimes i come out here to escape the badness of my apartment we're basically broke but this time um 
settled for. And lost her job. 200, right? <gasps> you lied. How do you have... You get that? It's from my summer job selling law pretzels. Oh my God, oh, Bilad! By your eyes, we can't pay rent, and have to move out. He'd really miss you. Oh, and Victor would be the only one who miss me. Right, right. <laughs> I have had at least two gay boyfriends, and the jury's still out on Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strip club. What? Oh my God! Please. <laughs> so we go in, and he's sweating and feet red, just trying to act like this is a totally normal thing for us to be doing together. Jacuzzi. Not jacuzzi. Anyways, that dull song comes on, and jacuzzi puts her glittery boobs right in my face. Dear Lord. So, so told her I was gay. Marched out. We love. We stand. Told my dad. Nothing was ever gonna change who I was. I don't think I could give up on you. I'll just do this. <laughs> oh, that's so cheesy and corny, but we love yeah, it. Secret. There's a group of parents with gay kids. P flag? Midtown meets every other Tuesday. I am not airing our family's dirty laundry in front of a group of strangers. But we're not nothing to each other, are we? I don't know what we are. This is so sad because I feel like obviously Victor knows that he hurt her, but at the same time, there's a wall up now, and so he can't really do anything about it at this point. He's really trying his best, but obviously Mia just doesn't want to let him in, and she doesn't want to confront that, and so now she's using this one guy who's a college student and basically lying to kind of get away from this whole high school drama, which, you know, it's understandable, especially with everything going on, but I just feel like it's just gonna go bad. What about your pretzel money? Something more important came up. Oh my god, Pilar. Stop it. Ugh. Is he gonna do it? What are you doing? Stop it. What I should have done yesterday. Oh my god, Victor, please. This would uh, be something Victor did. Like, he would do so, something like this. Not that it's anyone's business. I'm gay. And I'm with Benji now. I'm happy about it. Like, oh, like really, really happy. Yeah, um, we won't be taking any questions at this time. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I'm so happy and proud of him. <gasps> oh my God, please. Dear Simon. It wasn't as smooth as I planned, but Benji and I are officially out of Creekwood and brave. And, and who knows? Maybe one day I can inspire someone to be themselves the same way you inspired me. Oh? Oh my god. I'm proud of that boy. This was such a good episode. I just love, you know, how we started off with Victor just being so apprehensive. And obviously his mom getting into his head about the whole situation, about coming out publicly at school and then the progression of slowly him realizing that he can't let people dictate you know his coming out that's kind of like a parallel to what was happening you know in love simon when he was outed and he told that jackass that you know it was his choice whenever he wanted to do it um and here just victor just really took that for himself and i'm really glad that it happened that way because you know it could have gone awfully wrong and somebody could have outed him and i'm glad that we didn't have to get to that point you know what i mean that he took it upon himself to actually be open and understand that he doesn't feel ashamed and so i'm really glad that that victor did that and of course he would get a chair and stand up in front of everybody and just scream it we love it i love it um, the whole thing with Mia, I'm a little scared. I feel like she's gonna get hurt and it's gonna be painful because she's lying and that's gonna come back to bite her, I feel like. <sighs> we'll see. Uh, also, the whole Pilar situation with her giving Felix the money, the $200 for the rent. I just, I love that she did that. And, you know, obviously 
like she lied to him. She said that she didn't have, she couldn't buy tickets anymore for the concert, but obviously that wasn't the case. She just really wanted to help him. Uh, Pilar is slowly creeping up to be like my second favorite character after Felix. They're just really showing a lot of nuances with her character, even though she isn't front and, front and center. She isn't showing up a lot. They're, they're, even the little moments just really speak louder than anything else. And so I want to see more of her this season. So this was such a great episode. I'm excited to keep watching. Again, if you guys want to watch my full uncut reactions, they'll be over on Patreon. Um, a few episodes ahead over there. So if you guys enjoyed this reaction, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of episode two of Love Victor season two. Subscribe for more content. And until next time, I will catch you guys in my next reaction. I don't know.